What is up, guys? It's NNW Jacob Montaigne here. And um, the other weekend, I was up in Salisbury, and I met up with a few of my buddies. And um, we did some trading. So I'm going to show you what I've got from that. Um, I got rid of one of my GP40Xs, and the rest of it was just uh, some random rolling stock. Nothing else was Southern. But, um, starting out, I got this very nice weathered Southern Railway wood chip popper. And, um, as you can see, um, it has separately applied grab irons. And they're all metal. It's got some really nice detail metal wheels. Uh, Katie couplers you can see all the airline detail in there um very nicely weathered nicely done but i got that and then next i got this rock island hopper by inner mountain uh this one is an athern and uh inner mountain um their rolling socks pretty nice um as you can see all the little Grab irons and stuff are metal, all that brake detail. Um, photo etched walkways. Very nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. Nice, really detailed model. Metal wheels. KDs. Next, um, this was from a separate trade with one of my buddies. And uh, I got four cars from him. I got a southern waffle sided box car um i cleaned up the weathering a lot on this one uh made it look a little newer because i don't want my southern stuff to look extremely old and rusted but uh this is an athern kit i mean an athern blue box or ready to roll now um, details all right uh separately applied on the body the only thing really is the brake wheel um some fair underbody detail, uh, your standard Athern metal wheels, and some KDs. And next up, um, this is one that I got in the package I did an unboxing of that was shipped terribly. But uh, I finally got that built, and I put some coupler upgrades. Um, this is an Athern blue box kit, so I need to get metal wheels on it. But overall, it's a pretty nice kit. It's not too bad. Uh, next was one from my buddy Steven again. And, uh, another Southern box car. Um, this is an Athern, I think. It might be Walters, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I think this is Walters. But, um... Anyways, uh, don't want that step to break. I'll be the only one that's broke. But, um, it's got separately applied ladders on the car. Um, I cleaned up some of the weathering on this one, too. The whole roof was rusted. And I cleaned it up to where it looks like it's just now starting to rust. So, you can see how good that turned out. Um, as you can see there. Um, nice brake wheel detail and all that. The doors don't open. And, uh, some fair underbody detail, metal wheels, and some good couplers. And the last car I got was this weathered southern box car. Um, I tried to clean this one up some, but it had already been clear coated several times. So it was very difficult. But I did the best I could. So, there's that one. Just a standard Athern, ready to roll 40 foot. Um, body molded details. Uh, nothing separately applied besides the brake wheel, metal wheels. Uh, some decent underbody detail that I did do some touch up painting on. And um, some pretty fair truck detail. So, there's all those. Let me get this put back in the box real quick. 
And last but not least, what I traded my GP40X for was a Athern ready-to-roll Southern Railway SD45 with DCC. Um, the DCC decoder is Digitrax. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the box before we start talking about it. Uh, he wanted to keep the box, but he let me have all the plastic protection stuff, so I didn't have a problem with that. I told him that would be fine, as long as I had the stuff that actually protected the model. But, um, I've already done several small repairs to this. I've had to do some touch-up painting, because it has, it's been used, so you can see some of the, um, MU hoses on this end are broke. But besides that, um, it's got a, a brass antenna upgrade and a brass horn upgrade to it. Um, I painted those, and the windows kept opening back and forth and stuff, so I just put a little drop of cement glue on there. So if I do want to open them, it'll be very easy to break that seal, but it'll hold them shut for temporary use. Um... Overall, it's got some really nice detail on it. The handrails are really fragile. Uh, this is one of the older runs. So you have to be careful with that. But Southern's printed on it very nicely. It's got a really clean tuxedo scheme. Um, fuel tank detail is alright. I can add some. But um, the front headlight doesn't work. The LED burnout whenever the previous owner had it. But the rear one does work. Well, really, this is the front one because they're supposed to run long code forward. But this headlight does work. Uh, the number boards aren't illuminated, but that's fine. Uh, really clean logo. Some really nice detail. You can see the MU hoses are broke back here as well. And um, whenever I got this, they had super glued the bell on. And um, it kind of frosted a good bit. So can see where I had to touch up paint that with some flat black. It stands out if you stare at it, but just doing a quick run by or anything like that, you can't even tell. Uh, it's got a nice separately applied brake wheel, and again, really clean paint on this side. Um, it's a very quiet running engine. I'm pleased with it. But, um, yeah, so that's my new stuff. Let me get this set out and get a final look at all my new stuff so yeah pretty good pretty good day of trading and um for other news uh if you have a facebook account and you go to the ho scale yard sale i am trying to sell this pile of rolling stock back here so you can get some of my custom weathering and all that stuff. Um, I try to be pretty fair on prices because a lot of the cars are older blue box kits. But um, whenever I weather my models, it takes a long time and I put a lot of material into it. So the money I make will buy more material to continue doing it with other cars. So if you're interested in buying some of my stuff that I'm selling, I normally post it on HO Skill Yard Sale fo first on Facebook. So. I'm going to go ahead and end the video, so y'all guys don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all guys later.